Let's talk about supermassive black holes and how big they are, and how they become this massive in size and what happens when they merge. First, let's start with the basics. Black holes form when massive stars collapse under their own gravity. These stellar black holes are big, but supermassive black holes are on a whole different level. A stellar black hole might have a mass of up to 20 times that of our sun, but supermassive black holes, they can be millions or even billions of times more massive. To give you a sense of scale, let's start with Earth. Our planet has a diameter of about 12,742 kilometers. The sun is about 109 times wider than Earth. Now, imagine a black hole that could fit not just the sun, but millions of suns inside it. In the center of our Milky Way galaxy lies Sagittarius A, which is a supermassive black hole. It's about four million times the mass of our sun, but that's a relatively smaller supermassive black hole. Some of the largest supermassive black holes reside in giant elliptical galaxies. Take the one at the center of the galaxy M87, known as M87 star. It's about 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun. And then there's ton 618, one of the largest known, with a mass of around 66 billion times that of the sun. To put this into perspective, if we placed a supermassive black hole like ton 618 in the center of our solar system, its event horizon would extend well beyond the orbit of Pluto, which is over 3 billion miles. The most massive black hole ever discovered is the Phoenix A. It has a mass of 100 billion suns and a diameter of 590 billion kilometers. This diameter is 100 times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. If you want to know more about Phoenix A black hole, tap on the top right corner of the video or find the link in the description. These black holes aren't just massive, they also come with an immense gravitational pull. The event horizon is the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. Surrounding this is the accretion disk, a swirling mass of gas and dust being pulled into the black hole. Interestingly, when supermassive black holes merge, they create ripples in the fabric of space-time, known as gravitational waves. These waves were first detected by LIGO in 2015, confirming Einstein's predictions from a century ago. So, just how big are supermassive black holes? They're gigantic, with masses that can dwarf entire star systems. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating videos.